Hello guys, welcome to the official channel of Lucky Boots where I'll be reviewing the Hyper Venom Phantom 1 today, widely touted as having one of the best uppers of the whole decade. I cannot wait to get into this video. Let's go. And one of the things that first jumps out for me is a six stud configuration that Lucky Boots has provided me with. And it's something that you don't actually see often in the game today, but this is actually an SG Pro sole plate. You see that it's also see-through, it's sort of glistening in the light here as well. And as you can see, six studs, no messing around. And what it actually means is that this sort of glass plate where the studs sit on, and that's actually separate from the insole of the boots. First things I want to notice is this honeycomb upper, as it's been described. Fantastic upper has actually been voted one of the most popular and best uppers of the last decade. And you can see why in a way that it's not quite knitted in or anything like that. It actually has some holes here that are sort of woven in to this upper. So it has a slightly brighter orange section of the upper and a slightly darker orange. And a slightly brighter one is actually for reinforcement of the boot. So it's slightly thicker, slightly more glossed over, and it's in order to reinforce these parts of the boot. So you can see it comes along here with this lovely Nike swoosh, comes along with the black skull from the Hyper Venom, and it actually reinforces down here as well in order to just give this part of the boot a little bit more protection from getting damaged or ripped during the season. And then you get onto the slightly darker orange which isn't reinforced and isn't as waxed. So that's where you get this slightly closer touch to the ball in the most important striking zones. So as you can see, runs along here and then it bends around you. So you don't get as much reinforcement but where you're touching the ball with the outside of your boot, striking it with the laces over here and passing it around here, I'm gonna get that lovely slightly padded feel on the ball and then what that also brings me to is you can see that's highlighted here there's a slightly off center facing system here and what this means is that it gives you a little bit more striking area over here to strike this ball as you can see here Nike swoosh coming along no padding here or no reinforcement here and just this nice textured upper from this honeycomb design and you can see on the laces here coming across to give you that larger striking zone and then opposite lacing, so they're completely opposite to each other, the lacing holes, so there's no crisscross in that sense. And this lets me come on to the tongue as well. As you can see here, slightly bobbly, slightly bobbly here, and slightly bobbly here. So it's the same sort of textured upper as the upper itself, but what this means is that it prevents slippage. So it catches along the same similar pattern here, as you can see on the inside of the boot, and stops the, the tongue from changing side to side with your boot here side to side so there's no tongue slippage as a result and then this brings me on to the inside of the boot and as you can see the light is actually coming through the boot slightly when you get onto the inner just around here and it continues on throughout the boot it's actually a synthetic -y kind of suede material as seen on the vapor 13 and allows you just a bit more roughage so that your foot doesn't slip around as well as the perforated so you can see the little holes with the hypervenom logo there insert so that then your feet are still allowed to breathe as well as being separate from that sole plate to relieve the stud pressure then something that i'm not the biggest fan of is this back is that it's a neoprene sort of ankle guard and it isn't textured as you find in the modern day boots so it isn't as accommodating or as sort of locked into your ankle but nonetheless it still provides a relatively comfortable fit around here so you can see that even though that's not something I'm the biggest fan of, I prefer a suede liner. It's still something that can attach and sort of stop your feet from slipping because I can feel right here there's a little bit of gradient just to latch onto your ankle at the back over here. And as we move around the boot, you can see the detailing, Nike crossbones, Nike swoosh. You can see the Hypervenom logo is just right here beautifully focused in time and then we move on to the sole plate so you can see that's a six stud pattern because of the SG Pro that I've mentioned and you can see these slightly elevated parts of the studs as well so slightly elevated parts are able to give you that bit more traction when you're making those quick turns on the pitch so you've got this pick here right at the top that I can show you just dropping here and you've got a pick here as well and then you've got an almost arrow shape in the middle here and that's mainly to emphasize when you're bending the boot just like that and then unfortunately not as much as a kickback as the Curial Vapor 13 but a kickback nonetheless and still a very flexible boot which is something that you'll want when you're trying to make those quick turns and something that emphasizes the front part of the sole plate here you can see then that the sole plate then runs as it glistens in the light 
along here in a sort of Y shape. And it's just to give you that rigidity when you're striking the ball. So as you can see, it doesn't twist too much side to side and doesn't bend too much in moving your boot as such. You can see that as it runs along here, it attaches right at the back here to give you that rigidity in your ankle as well. You can hear nice ankle counterweight and it gets hollower as you move up the boot. So the weight is all allocated back here in order to give your ankle that stability that you need. And as a result, you've got this rigidity for when you're striking the ball, gives you a little bit more oomph and then allows you to plant your foot nicely. Having heard that weight is actually only 197 grams. So it's only six grams more heavy than the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13, which is astonishing to be honest. So in sum, this boot offering the stability that you need with the Y formation and the reinforcements along the upper while also giving you that slightly slightly padded but also barefoot feel side of things with the boots up here. And as you can hear as well, my finger running along it, that you can just hear that the rigidity of the boots differs as I move along the boot here. So you can see that it's a less of a waxy finish and this is a more dulled sound in order to emphasize that waxy reinforcement and there you have it the hyper venom phantom one released in 2013 in a size 8 and even emphasize the distance between these two laces to show that off center lacing system that will give you that pure strike of the ball and honestly you do not want to miss out on these boots on lucky boots's page thank you so much for watching the review that's it for the nike hyper venom phantom one and honestly this upper is unrivaled in modern day's game and it's something that a lot of players actually miss. You can look on Instagram, Facebook and you can see images of players wearing these boots again to try and capture that upper that the boots offer. This honeycomb, lovely waxy kind of feel that players love and crave. So please stay tuned and like and subscribe to Lucky Boots' boot channel and I will see you in the next video.